guys this is Epson Expression Home 5200 I'm going to show you how to connect this printer to Wi-Fi network with your mobile device you can connect this printer to Wi-Fi network from the printer or using your mobile device first of all you need to go to your Play Store install Epson Smart Panel this is Epson Smart Panel open it up now this is Epson Smart Panel before you do this connection you need to make sure you you know the Wi-Fi details and also the password this is Epson Smart Panel now what you need to do is to connect this printer to Wi-Fi network you need to go on top and select plus then you select set up a new product thank you for choosing your Epson product select continue turn Bluetooth on select on select allow Here we go it picked up the product xp5200 series then you select the product are you sure you want to select this product then you select yes now the product wi-fi connection setting are required to be able to use this product select proceed to wi-fi setup this guide will guide you through the Wi-Fi connection. Select Next. Product is protected. Then you select Next. You need to put the password. Now it will ask you to enter administration password. So you look on the password from the printer. Then select OK. Now check in the product Wi-Fi settings and he picked up the Wi-Fi network available select yes Wi-Fi network password is required select next the password is usually shown on the back of the or the side of the router select next it may be called encryption key select next did you confirm the password select yes select next enter the Wi-Fi password so I have the information here sometimes people ask where do you get the Wi-Fi password you get the Wi-Fi password from the router You can also press the I sign to check the information you put and if you're happy with it then you select OK. Then select yes. Wait until the product Wi-Fi setting is complete. It takes two and a half minutes. So now it's progressing. If you look on the printer, you will see Wi-Fi in Wi-Fi image will show red a little bit, then change to blue color. So it's actually connected, but you need to wait for this to complete from the app. Now I will tell you new firmware is available select dismiss to start but I'm going to do this later on 
later okay you can perform update from firewall update in the settings select dismiss okay now you also see this information participating in future design reject or approve so use side button to go to reject select okay then you wait for this to be ready wait until the product wi-fi is complete select the app select next select next it is connected select yes go back then select set up product on the wi-fi then select add a printer already on the wi-fi network here we go this is the printer here select on it connection is complete select ok and the printer is here with the ink level so this is how to connect this printer to wi-fi network thank you very much and stay blessed